How to spot the seven types of bad leader. Are you working for a toxic leader? Marcia Lynn Wicker popularised the term toxic leader and the phrase is frequently used to describe bad leaders. But what does it actually mean? Sometimes we implicitly know we are working for a terrible boss, but it's hard to explain why. Fortunately, researchers have developed various models to identify the traits of bad leaders. For example, Barbara Kellerman conducted a study in 2004 to define the characteristics of bad leaders. Kellerman identified seven traits. These are incompetent, rigid, intemperate, callous, corrupt, insular and evil. Let's look at each one in more detail. Incompetent. Does your boss not know what they are doing? Are they lacking the requisite skills or experience for the job? If the answer is yes, then you may well be working for an incompetent manager. Sometimes a person is simply not qualified to do a job. They've been promoted to the point of their incompetence. Rigid. Is your boss close to new ideas? Does your manager doggedly stick to a process or plan no matter what? In this case, we are most likely talking about a rigid leader, someone who may well have skills and experience but is unwilling to change. Intemperate. Does your line manager lose their temper easily? Is your boss's mood hard to predict? Here we're looking at an intemperate leader. Bad leaders lack self-control and struggle to manage their emotions. They lack empathy and emotional intelligence. Callous. Is your boss self-centred? Is their language full of me rather than we? Are they uncaring or blind to the needs of others? If this is the case, then you're probably experiencing a callous leader. The callous leader is petty and unkind. They are also selfish as they interpret the world primarily through its impact upon them rather than considering others. Corrupt. Is your boss economic with the truth? Are they happy to gain an advantage by any means? Do they take liberties with their expenses or with other company resources? If so, then your manager may well be corrupt. Corruption is a lack of normal morals. People who do not see themselves as tied to the usual rules are happy to lie, cheat or steal to get what they want. That could be in pursuit of a goal, promotion or more money, but it is driven by self-interest. Insular. Does your leader hold on to power? Do they display a lack of equity in how they treat people? This describes an insular leader. An insular leader discriminates between people in a negative way. They have in-groups and out-groups, people who they favour more than others. These sorts of leaders do not share power with equality and will strive to maintain their power dynamic by pushing others down. Evil. Does your boss create an environment of fear? Are they immune to the damage they cause? Do they believe that they are above normal rules? Here we are describing an evil leader. I very much hope that your boss cannot be described as evil. Unfortunately, history shows us that such leaders do exist and can climb to the very top of any organisation. These leaders seek power without moral responsibility. So, if you think you are working for a toxic boss, consider these seven traits and identify what it is that makes them a bad leader. Are they incompetent, rigid, intemperate or callous? If yes, then it is likely that leadership is ineffective. They will not be building high-performing teams. Their behaviour will be unprofessional. Alternatively, they might be corrupt, insular or just plain evil. In this case, the leader is immoral. These leaders undermine the values of an organisation. At worst, the impact of these immoral leaders can spread beyond just the team they work with. They can damage communities and even society as a whole. I do truly hope you are not working with a toxic leader, but hopefully you'll now be able to better identify bad leadership when you see it. If you would like some ideas of what to do if you are working for a toxic leader, then do check out the related article by following the link in the show notes.